Shocking the muscle is a myth. I'm about to tell you why and what you should do instead. This is my client's eight week transformation and not one time did we shock the muscle. The two main pillars to focus on in training when you're building muscle is mechanical tension and progressive overload. Mechanical tension is best accomplished through picking stable exercises and lifting close to failure. Progressive overload is best achieved by lifting close to failure in the five to eight rep range with controlled reps with an adequate amount of sets per muscle per week. When you're shocking the muscle, you're constantly switching out exercise and doing intensity techniques like drop sets and supersets. And if you're constantly switching exercise, it's going to be harder to achieve progressive overload on that exercise that you're doing for that specific muscle because you're never going to get good at that exercise. And intensity techniques like drop sets cause unnecessary fatigue, which doesn't allow you to grow muscle as efficiently either. And if for some reason, if you think you need to shock the muscle and use intensity techniques and this principle won't work for you. It's also worked for myself, my client Vlad, my client Levi, and Mo. Go check out more of my page for value on how to get jacked.